Hey guys, my name is Mario Flores and I am a citizen here of, here of Tulare and I wanted just to kind of show the community what's happening here at the Tulare Joint High School District with two gentlemen that are helping and supporting our students with something called tacos and tutoring. A lot of what my job is is to, is to get to know kids, to build a relationship with kids. Um, and part of that requires me to get to know the administration as well and staff. So. Um, this year, uh, I, I got to meet Mr. Geary, uh, who's also, he's a new math teacher, and he liked what I was doing. And asked, he asked um, how we could help. Uh, he says, well, uh, I can tutor. And I said, well, I can buy food. <laughs> and so that's where the concept of tacos and tutoring came in. What we did is we introduced the concept of a quote of the week. So each student took a turn providing a quote of inspiration, um, of what it meant to them, how they found the quote, and, and how they could apply that to their lives. And so that's, and then, and then it kind of took off from there, and that's kind of what we did for 12 weeks. And um, the, 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 one of the greatest things that happened is listening, to, is the, the dialogue. I am a math teacher here at Tulare Union. I uh, met Manny through a workshop that was offered at the beginning of the year for new teachers. Uh, the workshop was about uh, strategies uh, to work with uh, gang impacted youth. Um, the reason I decided to attend this workshop uh, was because um, going through the educational system I met many friends uh, and family members uh, who were failed by the system. Important to have those opportunities and, and the issue is that a lot of our students don't have the opportunities. Um, they get shut down early on and those opportunities don't come back again. Um, so I, I, a philosophy of mine is that uh, it's important to give people the opportunities that have been given to us by so many others. We see students who are engaged, who want to learn. We see students who uh, are okay with making mistakes and are, are willing to ask questions, um, which is more of what we need uh, in, a, in any learning environment. We want students to be genuinely interested in learning, um, and these students definitely show that in this space um, and so I, we need more spaces like these for more students but they're talking about math they're talking about academics they're talking about success but they're using their own language and that was the amazing part is letting them be themselves uh, and letting them letting them be successful you know with just a little bit of guidance from us i was sort of like trying to figure out high school and i th i sort of thought i wasn't going to make it either like that from what I heard of high school. But when I actually came, I actually, started, I actually started liking it and I felt like it was like something worth staying for. Like I think twice about my actions and if it's worth it. I want to be a graduate from Union and I will, and I will feel happy for me and my mom. Before tacos and tutoring and the surveys, I used to think that, like I used to never really think through it. I used to just put no right away because I never felt like I was part of the school. But then after that, like I felt like I could uh, bubble in, yes. Last year, I didn't really um, do my work or classwork. Didn't like to come to school. I always come late. But now after I do the, the group, I've done all my work, turned it in on time, came to school more, and then after I do want to graduate from here and be able to get a job to make my mom proud that I have graduated, and that's it. So I think it's important to point out um, how we, you know, just, just through a conversation Mr. Geary and I had uh, about our willingness and our desire to, to help our students uh, and the willingness to commit to, you know, an hour a week. We committed an hour a week and, and um, it, it really, it really, I think it, it, it helped build a foundation for these young men. Um, certainly changed my life. Um, I was always talking to them and I, talk, I let them know how much they changed me. Um, and they, they helped me be a better person because I had to, I had to commit and I had to um, show who I really was as a person. Um, so, but it was just through a simple conversation that Mr. Gear and I had uh, to commit to, to these young men uh, to help support them, care for them, and be there uh, 
to help them succeed. I think that we need to keep seeking these um, opportunities for our students, and it doesn't take anybody special uh, to make it happen. I think anybody that, that wants to make a change and a difference um, can do something about it. Uh, they just need to reach out to others. And so I, I think that that's very important. To those teachers that are thinking of doing something different and, and doing something for, for the students that they see that need the most support, you know, just go for it. Start something like Tacos and Tutoring or another Tacos and Tutoring would be awesome. Um, and, and we really want to also thank administration for supporting us and, and creating this space for our students. Um, we reached out to them. They were very willing to help us out. Um, district as well, again, for giving us the opportunity to use this space and, and to uh, support our, to continue to support our students and to know that it's a great start and, and we need more and we want to do more.